Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I am your guide to wisdom. Thank you for joining us for this seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 43 of our trek and for the next few days we will continue to look at how significant our thinking impacts our life, both today and for eternity. We are recording our podcast from our studios at home too in Charlotte, North Carolina today. And this weekend, Granny and Gramps had the privilege of watching our grandson Caprono. Now, his given name is Harold Guthrie Chamberlain V, but he goes by his Kenyan name, Kip, for short. Our daughter-in-law, Chlimo, is of Kenyan heritage and is married to our oldest son, Harry. Harry and Kip listen to Wisdom Trek on their way to preschool each day, or as Kip calls it, Gramps' Wisdom Tracks. It is a blessing to be closely involved with our grown children and grandchildren. As we have continued to have the opportunity to positively impact our family, one of the areas that we have always emphasized is how important proper thinking is. In addition to the science or power of thinking big, by changing our thinking, we can literally change our lives. Well, it looks like our trail ahead of us today has some big boulders that we need to consider. Will these boulders prevent us on our trek, or will we learn to take advantage of them and learn to enjoy the journey each day? Big boulders or obstacles give us the opportunity to think big, achieve big, and succeed big. As we consider this concept of thinking big, you have to understand that there is effort exerted in thinking big or small. Take advantage of the economies of scales. In many cases, thinking big or taking action on large tasks is no more time effort than working on our small task. But the results are much bigger and better, and the achievements are greater. I've seen people that have worked harder thinking about how to get out of doing something than if they had just jumped in and got the job done. It can be much easier to succeed by thinking big rather than thinking small. So many individuals are thwarted in life because their thinking is so confined to a small realm. I realize that not everyone has the opportunity to travel or stretch themselves and their world by experiencing other people's or cultures. But with today's technology, there is no reason that we cannot expand our horizons and thinking through virtual travel and experiences. It is literally at our fingertips today. So how do we think and achieve on a big scale? Well, number one, be positive and fearless. Negative or fearful thoughts produce small thinking, so think positively. Eliminate the word impossible. Successful big thinkers come up with reasons why you can, others find reasons why you cannot. It has been said, success comes in cans, not in cannots. And look at a picture in today's Wisdom Trek journal to see what I mean. Whichever way you think, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Big thinkers see problems as a challenge, and any challenge has an opportunity. Their big thinking creates unlimited possibilities, alternatives, and solutions. Turn your attention to being brave, bold, and optimistic. And I realize Mark 10, 27 is specifically dealing with the salvation experience, but the truth is still applicable if we are pursuing the right course of action in our lives. And it says, Jesus looked at them intently and said, Humanly speaking, it is impossible, but not with God. Everything is possible with God. Number two, visualize without restraint. It is not the lack of resources that holds people back, but the lack of a resourcefulness. A big thinker visualizes what is possible in the future, rather than being stuck in the present or mired in the past. Look at things not as they are now, but as they can be, without constraints. This mental rehearsal gives you a compelling taste of what your vision will be in reality, and the impetus to make it happen. Come up with creative solutions and realize your goal. Number three, ask big questions. Practice asking yourself and others some really big and challenging questions, such as, if there could be one thing that you could change about your world, what would it be? If you had an unlimited supply of money, what would you do? If you had all the time in the world, what would you do? Who in this world would benefit the most from what you know? And I think the last one is probably key and more realistic because we can all teach others. Ask for feedback on your ideas from family, friends, and associates but realize that they may not have the same vision or the big thinking that you do. Also, locate someone that can be your mentor who would be honest with you and have your best interest at heart. Feedback from other people discussing such big questions is invaluable. Number four, be creative and dream big. The size of your belief determines the size of your success. The key to success is imagination. Allow yourself to dream. Take a note of your greatest idea, then concentrate on that, and don't give up until your vision is a reality. Create a vision that is so inspirational that it ignites the fire within you and gets you excited to work towards it. Life is too short for small dreams. And number five, set short and long-term goals and stick to it. Set realistic goals and plans, both short and long-term. Keep a laser-like focus as you aim toward achieving it. Turn your attention to what you want and make it happen. What you focus on and what you take action on you will achieve. 
Successful people are those that are doing everything they can to achieve their goals. Concentrate all your thoughts upon the work at hand. The sun rays do not burn until they are brought into focus, which is a quote from Alexander Graham Bell. Number six, inspire those around you. The ability to leverage and inspire others is key. Big ideas motivate and inspire those around you. And in this highly connected world, it has never been easier to attract and build a following around your big ideas. Leverage those around you and give yourself the best chance of making your ideas a reality. Number seven, goals and dreams that are captured, pinned down, and action planned are followed through by action and then they ensure success. Take steps toward your big goal on a daily basis. In life, lots of people know what to do, but few people actually do what they know. Knowing is not enough. You must take action. And then finally, number eight. Above all, believe in yourself. Belief is the most important part of achieving. If you believe it can happen, it can happen. Magnify your thinking power. Be confident. Know that you can do it and that you are unstoppable. Never underestimate the power of thinking big. Thinking big widens your horizons, taking you out of your ordinary and into the extraordinary. Expand your mind, your thinking, and expand your horizons. The higher you aim, the higher you will go. Big thinking does get big results. Donald Trump put it this way, if you're going to be thinking, you may as well think big. As your guide, friend, mentor, and fellow sojourner, let me know how I can help you to expand your horizons, to think bigger, and to achieve bigger. It is my goal to help you to become a better leader and mentor for those that you impact. Well, that will finish our podcast for today. If you've missed any of the previous podcasts, please check out Wisdom Trek at iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or at wisdom-trek.com. Tomorrow we will continue our trek on how changing our thinking will literally change our lives. So please come along with us on our camp tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you enjoy our daily dose of wisdom or these nuggets of wisdom that we consume, I encourage you to help us in the following four ways. Leave us feedback about the podcast at wisdom-trek.com. If you've not done so already, please subscribe at iTunes or Stitcher so that the podcast will be downloaded to you automatically each day. If you have previously left us a rating at iTunes or Stitcher, I thank you so much for that. But if you have not, please go to iTunes or Stitcher and leave us a rating. That will allow us to be exposed more to others that can join us on our Wisdom Trek. And number four, please spread the word to everyone you know to come along with us on our Wisdom Trek. I thank you for allowing me to serve you each day on the Wisdom Trek podcast. It really is appreciated. The journal for today's podcast can be found at wisdom-trek.com, where we have pictures, tweetable quotes, wisdom nuggets, and other free resources. As we take our trek together, let us always live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy the journey, and create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.